after the last video uh, which I called ancient grave mounds of Mashta uh, turned out so popular uh, I've decided to check out a couple of other uh, cool places here in Mashta uh, specifically grave uh, mounds uh, hills uh, graves in in general so let's see let's see uh, what I can find and I hope you'll dig it After a couple of windy and quite chilly days here, it's finally some classic Swedish summer weather again. So let's hope it will keep going like this uh, during my expedition. very overgrown at the moment and I'm sure there will be a lot of ticks. This place I found more or less by accident. I was out random outing, it led me to this place. And after some research I found out that there is actually a quite big grave field here under the vegeta vegetation. It's like 25 to 30 graves from the late Iron Age, maybe early to the middle of the Bronze Age. Uh, so that's very cool. You kind of hard to see uh, the graves, but there's one uh, which kind of looks like a stone circle that is kind of easy to see. So I, I will see if it's possible now when there's so much vegetation. So hang on. <laughs> this place was actually even more overgrown with with uh, trees and uh, uh, bushes, and they kind of did some kind of. Uh, they cleaned up the area a couple of years ago, which made the at least one of the graves a lot easier to see. And uh, so I hope it will be able to see today also because there is a, it's a lot of grass here. <laughs> it's up there. Uh, we're gonna go. Uh, gonna find a easy route up there. Um, I'm, to be honest, I'm not a fan of insects. I understand that insects are needed, but I'm not, uh, you know, I don't like to cuddle with them. So it's quite, quite odd because I love nature. I love being out in tall grass and the forest and everything. But these insects, they kind of worry me, you know. I know they don't want to do me any harm, but you know, still, they're disgusting. Hope there's no snakes. When I was walking here, I kind of heard something in the tall grass, which was a little bit disturbing. Anyway, I'm actually on the top and it looks very overgrown here. As most of these, uh, these graves are on the top of a hill. And so this one, as you can see, it's quite a good view from here. Uh, I will go into the middle of it. Uh, now I'm standing in the middle. There is a hole here in the middle, like someone tried to find something, maybe try to, to dug. Uh, uh, you know, people have a tendency to try to loot these graves, but there's nothing left. Or, you know, they used, uh, they put ashes or small bones here. And so often there's not much to find. Uh, from time to time you can find like pottery or silver or iron or bronze, you know, stuff like that. But it's quite rare, to be honest. Uh, anyway, maybe a little disappointment, this, this first uh, grey mound. But, you know, it's here. Uh, wait until the autumn and it will be more visible, autumn and spring. You can see it more clearly, then it's quite impressive. Okay, let's uh, move on. I'm almost in civilization again. I'm on the, the road. I have the bicycle pretty near, so I'm. But there is actually uh, there is some some old stuff over here. It's not uh, it's not as old. It's not from the Bronze or the Iron Age, but uh, there is actually some remains of uh, humans. 
not humans themselves, but uh, uh, there is a foundation, or maybe two funda foundation of uh, maybe some kind of terrace or house or similar. Let's see if it's visible. Yeah, I can see it. My guess that this is the remains of a terrace. Maybe there was a house built upon this uh, this uh, man-made uh, man-made construction. Uh, there's uh, stairs here, which looks very nice, actually. Uh, it's a quite cool ruin, uh, or I don't know if you can call it a ruin because there's no house left, but uh, the stairs are here, uh, the wall around it is here, and it, uh, I don't think many actually think this is, uh, this is uh, archeological find, but it is probably not that old, maybe. Maybe it's 100 years old, maybe it's 60, 70, something like that. I like it a lot, actually. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's not a new construction, but it's cool. It's very cool. Okay, let's take a look at uh, another grave instead. It's actually on the other side of the road and there's a lot of traffic, but I will bicycle around it. So, so okay, come on. The place I'm going to is a quite uh, impressive hill uh, on an impressive location and I hope it's quite visible. Ah! You're also going to look at another house foundation that I found nearby. So, okay, I, I will stop filming because this could be dangerous. Bikes, what an invention. Anyway, I'm going to leave my bike here and I'm going to take a walk to the hill and I'm gonna go around the hill to I'll come to this uh, old house foundation I think it is first and then go up to the top it's quite thick vegetation I don't think uh, everyone is aware that this this uh, patch of land actually hides some interesting things Okay, this is actually the, the way up to the, to the grave, but uh, it feels like I should take another road first and try to find this house foundation instead of going up uphill directly. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check over here, so let's see. Like I said, it's very thick vegetation, so I'm not sure how to find my way in, maybe here. Here we have it. Ah. It's always a bit scary. When, when entering spots like this, you, you never really know what you'll meet. Sometimes you meet people, sometimes you find weird trash or weird bags or boxes. And you know, you start to wondering, you see, are they, you know, is the body part in it? You know, it's, it's because it's, it is quite, it's a little bit disturbing, actually, uh, looking uh, at the deserted places or uh, haunted places, you know, because here people have lived, people have spent time, people have raised family and worked and, and suddenly there's nothing. And that's both a bit eerie, creepy and also quite powerful. What this house foundation is, I have no idea. It could be some kind of, I don't know, some kind of working station of some kind. Uh, it's like a square, complete square uh, with a st stone foundation, you know, stones around and concrete slabs kind of inside of that. It's not, uh, it's not especially spectacular, not like the one we saw before, but it's kind of nice, you know, makes you wonder. I've been to many places like this, uh, old house foundations and ruins and uh, grave, grave hills. And it's quite interesting how often there is a tree uh, growing, or in this case, it looks quite dead, but it's a tree in the middle of it. Often it seems like someone planted it. You know? uh, probably not, probably just a coincidence. I don't know, but it's, I like it. It's, uh, it's like uh, even in a, and something dead 
there's something always growing. Except this tree, it's terribly dead and dry, but it's cool. What the fuck is this? I mean, it's, uh, I don't know. I thought it was eggs or something, rotten eggs, but they're quite hard. I touched them, it's like they're grown in the ground. It's like uh, massive, rotten, weird, mushrooms no maybe it's potatoes it's potatoes ah i see it now there's uh, <laughs> this potato plants here but they look horrible actually it's like alien eggs whatever alien egg eggs look like it's cool it's potatoes huh. all right well the the the, the house foundation was nice but uh, there's those bizarre rotten weird potatoes was quite disturbing but it's nice to see that they're growing uh, I'm not sure I would like to eat those potatoes though okay I'm gonna go uphill I'm gonna check out this grave and once again see what we can see of it because it's it's uh, I mean the summer is in full bloom here in Sweden and there's so so much vegetation that uh, much uh, much of everything you want to see is overgrown so anyway I'm uh, I'm going uphill here and and I hope my, my I'm fit enough to handle this walk. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm on top. I'm actually once again it's hard for you to see, but I'm standing right now on top of a big stone. Uh, <laughs> fuck. It's hard to see now, but I'm standing actually on a big hill. Well, the hill is there, but the uh, top of the hill is actually covered with stone, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it has vegetation all over and the stones are quite hidden. And there's kind of a, a, kind of hole in the middle, a little bit, uh, maybe from people digging, maybe just from, you know, people have used stones here to build something else, which happened quite often. This must have been an amazing view. Uh, and I can, I mean, it's still in a uh, cool place, but there's so much trees and nature around, so you can't see so much. But this is, this is really on the top, on the edge of the top. And you probably could see the, the, the water down here, because uh, uh, everything was covered with water, except these hills. So it must be uh, another quite mighty person who was buried here, or this was a memorial uh, built for. Um, it's a very cool place. It's uh, it's quite impressive. Uh, uh, I kind of wish more people knew about this because it's even if it's quite discreet, it's still a cool, you know, cool thing to, to visit. You know, at least when you're around these parts, and you know, you just feel the the, the history of it. Uh, I like this place a lot, and I'm happy I'm, I, I found it. So, but I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna head to to my last stop, which uh, hopefully is uh, even more spectacular than this one. So, join me. I love this uh, trail down from the hill. Uh, you're kind of isolated when you're on the top. You can still hear traffic and. Uh, and, and so, but it's also quite peaceful. I'm sure you could spend hours up there without ever meeting anyone actually, because I don't think, actually in this place, I don't think so many people are coming up here. Well, maybe to, to pick those nasty mutated potatoes, but that's a completely different thing. Okay, let's find the bicycle again. I need to do more exercise, I think. Okay, actually, now I'm gonna get the bicycle. It's over there. And I'm gonna go straight over here, over the road, but I'm gonna use the tunnel and go to uh, another cool hill.
world without uphill. This would be awesome. Okay, directly into the forest here. I can lock it somewhere uh, because it's so much uphill and I don't want this bike to stop my my adventure so let's see let's put it over here <coughs> okay I'm going up on this hill there's actually two quite big graves probably bronze age on this uh, on this hill and here we have one it's uh, maybe less of a hill but more like a uh, you know it's quite flat so maybe I wouldn't call it a hill or a mound but it's for certain uh, uh, grave or something similar made out of rock rocks deliberately placed here by late iron age people or bronze age people it's still pretty cool and someone has done some graffiti here on one of the on the big main stone in the middle but it kind of fits you know uh, also must have been an amazing view from this from this hill from this side uh, you know thousands of years ago when there wasn't any tree just water down and uh, uh, you know it's open for everyone to see up here and for people who were up here to see over the landscape well I just wanted to show you this one I, I like it it's it's not uh, it's really cool actually you know I, I'm trying to push it down here but it's actually very very cool The other one is actually one of my favorite uh, grave mounds in the area uh, even if the area itself is a little bit too populated for for my taste there's a lot of kids there's a lot of people in general and i can understand why because it's a beautiful beautiful wonderful place here we have a nice uh, picnic place with barbecue uh, I like it a lot. This, this weird stone here also, which I kind of like. It feels kind of like, uh, use your imagination. Let's see what you think. For me, it's something fertility-ish about it, actually. <laughs> mm. Yeah, here it is. As impressive as usual probably a grave of a very mighty person maybe some kind of a local chief or a or a king it's big very impressive and you know what I really like about it is it's kind of like a plateau on top so you can climb up and you can sit on it and you can you know relax you can meditate or whatever on top of it uh, which of course have this mighty big tree also which is really cool, must have been there forever. It doesn't seem particularly big, you know, when you're standing on it, but when you look around and you see these hundreds of rocks, it's actually pretty cool, you know. Uh, this is a powerful place. Probably, probably one of the more impressive, uh, uh, you know, Bronze Age grave mounds I've, I've found so far. And it's amazing it's so close to where i live and it's so close to where a lot of people live there's uh, you can hear traffic but like uh, many of these other places there's uh, a peacefulness up here that's quite uh, quite incredible uh, i think i will sit down for a while and uh, just feel the atmosphere uh, but i'm happy you watched this video and i hope you found it interesting and 
that you maybe you learned something because I'm learning something every time I'm out doing this. Uh, I hope you you become happy when seeing the beautiful nature we have here in Mashta and in Sweden and the rich tapestry of history we have. So until next time, thank you for watching and bye bye.